In this video, we will calculate y1, comma y2 at x is equal to 1 using trapezoidal method. The formula right here is used for trapezoidal method. And so let's get started. So we have two equations here. This is dy1 and this is dy2. So when we solve this problem, we will have two equations. So the first one is this, y1 parentheses 1. We want to solve the value of y1 when x is equal to 1. This right here is our x. And this will equal, so I'm going to use this formula right here. If i is 0, then we get y1 parentheses 1. And do we know the value of y when x is equal to 0? We do. So when x is equal to 0, y1 parentheses 0 is 2. So y1 would be 2. This is for one equation. We will also do another equation for y2 parentheses 1. But right now we're just doing y1 parentheses 1. So plus delta x, delta x is 1 because it says so right here, the step size delta x is equal to 1. So 1 divided by 2. Now parentheses. Now we will use the, this equation. So I'm solving dy1 divided by dx. I'm, I'm using this equation right here for the first uh, equation. So we have xi comma yi. So essentially we're doing uh, when x is equal to 0. So if x is equal to 0, I can write 0 right here. 0 times y1. The value of y1 when x is equal to 0, which is 2. So times 2 minus 3 times y2. The value of y2 when x is equal to 0 is 1. So times 1 like this. Now we have another one plus xi plus 1. So this is where we will have y1 parentheses 1. So I will go back here. So now we know that x is going to be 1. If x is going to be 1, I write 1 times y1 parentheses 1. So y1 parentheses 1. I don't know the value of y when x is equal to 1. Likewise, I have this part here. Minus 3y2 parentheses 1. This right here is one equation. And so just a recap. So the 2 became because yi, essentially the value of y for equation 1 when x is equal to 0, which is 2 plus you know one half step size is one and now this part right here was zero times two minus three times one so this right here is this and then this right here is this xi plus one so xi plus one means that xi plus one so x would be one and we don't know the value of y when x is equal to one so we leave it like this so right now we have two unknowns. We have y1 and y2. We need two equations to solve two unknowns. So there will be a second equation. This equation will use this formula right here. So we will get y2 parentheses 1 is equal to. So what is the value of y when x is equal to 0 for equation 2? And so that, that is 1 right here. So y2 parentheses 0 is equal to 1. So that would be 1 plus delta x is the same step size, so 1 half parentheses. So I'm, again, using this equation right here. So when x is equal to 0, what do we get? So we have 3 times y1. y1, when x is equal to 0, is 2. So 3 times 2 minus x squared. We said that x is 0, so we get 0 squared times y2. What is the value of y2 when x is equal to 0? And that's 1. So times 1. Plus, now we do xi plus 1, meaning what is the value of y when x is equal to 1? So now we go here. So we have plus 3 times y1 parentheses 1. That, that is going to be this part right here, minus uh, we said now x is going to increase by 1. Step size is 1, increase by 1, so we get 1. So minus 1 squared. Um, we don't know the value of y2 when x is equal to 1. So we say times y2 
parentheses 1, like that. So now we have two unknowns and two equations. One unknown is y1 when x is equal to 1. The other equation is y2 when x is equal to 1. So at this point, I can use a calculator and solve for the unknowns. So I'm going to use a TI Inspire CX cost. So I'll hit menu, algebra, 7, solve system of equations. I will say that we will solve y1 comma y2. Um, the value of y1 when x is equal to 1, the value of y2 when x is equal to 1. Um, I'll hit OK. So the first equation is going to be this. y1 is equal to 2 plus 1 divided by 2 times parentheses 0 times 2 minus 3 times 1 plus 1 times y1 minus 3 times y2 like this. Now we'll go here. So second equation y2 is equal to 1 plus 1 divided by uh, 2 times 3 times 2 minus 0 squared times 1 plus 3 times y1 minus 1 squared times y2 like this uh, simply hit enter and this is the value we get and I'll get a decimal approximation so I'll go up hit enter and do control enter so y1 is going to be negative 1.75 and y2 is going to be 0 0.917. So just to be clear, this is the final answer. y1 parentheses 1. The, the value of y1 when x is equal to 1 is going to be equal to negative 1.75. I'll box in this answer. Then y2 parentheses 1. The value of y2 when x is equal to 1 would be about 0 0.917. And so this right here is the final answer. But let's say you wanted to solve this by hand. Again, this is two um, equations, two unknowns. You could do um, systems of equations using elimination or substitution. But if you were to do this by hand, what I would recommend is to say that y1, parentheses 1, is equal to like x, and like y2, parentheses 1, is equal to y. So wherever you see y1 parentheses 1, change it to like x, likewise y2 parentheses 1, change it to y. It'll be easier to work with if you solve this question by hand.